up everybody welcome back to life with latrice okay on the beat I done had love in my heart and it fade when it fade Can you show a little bit of that greatness? Nigga, be patient. Hey, you guys, another hair video. I just finished my video of showing you guys how I did the jazz and semi permanent hair color. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out and come back to this video because I'm going to show you guys now how I'm going to style my hair using a certain product. Before I tell you that product, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, as always, share with friends so I can get my subscribers up. If there's ever a video you guys would like me to do or product like me to try, let me know and I definitely will provide that video with you guys so without further ado let's get into this video all right guys so today I am trying the Vernon friend sauce I don't know how to, I don't know how to say the last name guys but this is what I'm trying styling cream um while that Sally's I picked this up along with the um, Jasmine to my permanent I picked this up guys. I've never tried this before. I only picked up styling cream because I don't know his whole collection. They did have more products there, but I'm not really familiar with the whole collection, so I didn't want to get too many products and not like it. So I was like, you know what? Why not style? Let's try the styling cream because I am running low on hair cream. It says this cream is for all hair types, embrace your kinks and curls. It says my richest blue styling cream is excellent for help helping to shape protective styles like twists, as well as emphasizing the natural curls and kinks of all natural of all hair types are it distributes easily and evenly without any stickiness stiffness or flaking and it says some more stuff i don't know if i read all that but yeah guys so i'm gonna be using this today for my hair it says directions for you squeeze the desired amount into your hand thoroughly work it through from the roots to the ends of your hair and style as you wish maybe use on dry or damp hair my hair is now damp i just got done doing the conditioner when I use the color, so I need to start applying it because it is definitely drying up fast. So yeah, guys, this is what I'm gonna be trying today for my styling cream. I don't really have a style I'm going to do. I'm more so going to just apply the cream first, see what see what happens after. And when in doubt, I will butt it out. That's what I always say. If I if my if my hair does not come out right, I'm quick to do a bun. All right, guys, so let's see. Doesn't smell too bad. It kind of reminds me of uh, cocoa butter. I personally do not like cocoa butter, though. Well, I like the smell of cocoa butter. I do like cocoa butter, though. It has a nice texture. I think I got a little bit too much for my first <laughs> piece of hair. So I'll probably add some to the other piece. For me personally in a hair product, I am looking for moisture, something to help moisturize my hair, um, because that's something I've always struggled with um, throughout my years, is keeping my hair moisturized. Now that I live in dry heat climate, I have to try to keep my hair um, hydrated. So actually my hair is feeling soft. I may have put a little bit too much on this section because I had a lot in my hand and not really a big section. But um, so far, like me putting this in, my hair does feel soft, which is a good sign. Like I said, I don't know what I'm even doing with my hair. I may do Bantu knots, guys. I'm just brushing it evenly through my hair. I'm probably just going to do some Bantu knots. So this video is now going to be called Bantu Knots Using burning styling cream. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to get a little band up to keep that up, but so 
guys, I actually just changed this video, as you guys noticed, into, into doing Bantu knots using this styling cream. So I'm just gonna section my hair. I'm doing one side at a time. I'm not gonna do small Bantu knots. I've done small Bantu knots before and they didn't work out too good for me. So I'm just kinda doing medium sized Bantu knots in each section. So just take the piece of hair and I'm distributing this styling cream throughout this whole section of my hair. And then I'm going to brush it through, starting at my ends, working my way to my top. And my hair is actually not really tangly. Twist it up. I'm hoping this bantu knot comes out good because I had done bantu knots in the past and guys, it has not, mm -mm, it has been a fail. So hopefully this one is not like, ugh, it's starting bad already y'all, I'm having a hard time twisting this up. <laughs> the first one was easy but, so hopefully guys this comes out good. Like I said, I've been doing bantu knots and they have been a fail. I'm actually surprised that they're staying. I never rolled my hair out like this for the bantu knot in the state. I usually put a rubber band on it or paper. Um, um, what's the thing? Not bobby. Is it bobby pen? Yeah, bobby pen. On it. I'm taking a nice amount. So far, like I said, this actually, the styling cream is actually soft. It's not sticky. On there it says how it's not sticky and it's really not at all. I was thinking by the way that it looked, the texture of it, I was just like, it's probably definitely going to be sticky. But applying it does not feel like it's sticky. You will definitely see though once it has dried. I'm probably going to leave these Bantu knots in overnight. Because the problem I always have with Bantu knots is that they're not dry enough time. I'm not going anywhere tonight, so keeping them in overnight is not a problem for me. All right guys, so my Bantu knots are done. I'm just gonna put some um, bobby pins in them so that they will stay. And like I said, I'm gonna sleep with them overnight and I will see you guys in the morning and let you guys know how they turned out. I missed the piece. <laughs> 
I'll let you guys know how it turned out. Whether it turns out good or bad, I will show you guys the results. Um, so yeah, guys, see you guys. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. It's literally four o'clock. I waited all day to take these Bantu knots out. So I'm gonna show you guys the results. I hope they are dry. I have had trial and error. I have my husband's shirt on, if you're wondering why I'm wearing it. It's super cozy. But I have always had trial and error when doing a Bantu knot. It never dries no matter how long I wait. So I'm hoping that me waiting for all these hours that is dry. But we shall see. I put rubber bands over them. So I'm gonna take those out first and then I will unravel them. yesterday also after I got done twisting this I'm just slowly pulling them apart but I have a really huge feeling that I'm probably going to put this in a bun I think you guys can I don't know if you guys can see the color if you guys have watched my video I dyed um, my hair with semi-permanent the jasmine my permanent color it was like a brown color I forgot exactly what the name was but I dyed it that color and if you look at me right now you cannot see you no know, it looks my hair still looks dark but in the Sun or in the light you can see a little bit more so outside in the Sun you can see it better so yeah if you haven't saw that video go check that video out and let me know what you guys think Okay, so up in here was not dry. You can see how it's like frizzy. And that's like really what I hate. I'm gonna try to separate a little bit more. Ever since I cut my hair, I'm not really sure as to like which way to put my part because I don't like it in the middle. I like a mushroom head. And then when I put it on the side, I don't like that either. And it looks so tiny, guys. Like, good grief. Okay, guys. So I know that I should separate it more and pick it out and all that. But oh, let me see my color a little bit more too. Maybe you guys can see it, like in here. But I honestly. I'm just not feeling it to even do any of that. <laughs> I I just don't like it, honestly. I mean, my hair is soft. Um, but I don't really like wearing my hair like this. Like, like I said, I know I could probably pick it out and make it cute, shape it up, but I don't like wearing my hair like this, like whatsoever. And since it's not always dry, like this whole part is like a big frizz which sucks. But every time I do a Bantu knot, guys, every time I do a Bantu knot, I'll get a result like this. It's not dry, it's frizzy, it's just like, look, look at this, what is this? What is this? What is it? Like, I, like first, the fact that it's shorter is what's blowing my mind, first and foremost. And then, I'm not the type of person who wears curls like this, so it's not working. But guys, let me know what I am doing wrong for a Bantu knot, because like I just said, every single time I do a Bantu knot, this is the result that I get. 
Um, literally, I've never, I maybe did one day not a long time ago that was good, and ever since then, it sucks. But I will see everybody else do Bam tonight. It comes out really great, but every time I do it, it comes out bad. So let me know, guys. Go look at my video. Let me know what I did wrong and what I can do better for a band to not. And then I will definitely try it again. Or if you even have any products that you recommend when doing a band to not, let me know and I will even try that. Um, because this, this, this is not working. And like, this can easily just get tangled again. It's just a big puff. Like, this is getting worse. Lord. Okay, guys, this was definitely a fail for me. Like I said, I know I could probably shape it up and make it look cute, but I'm just, these type of curls are not the curls for me. Um, so this is going to be a no-go. The product, although the product is good, my hair uh, feels very soft and looks very moisturized. My hair doesn't feel like hard, sticky, nothing like that from that product. Um, so that was, that was good. It's just that the bang too not did not turn out to be too good. Okay, my guys, yes, I'm about to go. This is not working for a sister. This is not working for a sister. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, I am posting videos back to back to back. If you guys have more content that you want me to do, be able to post, let me know, and I will do my best and provide you guys with those videos. 2020 New Year, I am trying to come hard and drop these bangers. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.